Hey, what's up? John from VideoFort.com bringing you another After Effects Basics tutorial. Today we're going to be covering expressions. I'm going to teach you how to express yourself. I'm expressing with my full capability. Maybe not express yourself, but show you how to uh, do expressions, which are kind of like math equations. I don't know. Not really. You'll see what they are. Let's get into it. So we've got our footage here. We got some ladies driving and uh, we're gonna add a little shake to this. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. One of my favorite expressions is the wiggle expression. It's very useful and uh, you can do a lot of different things with it. Uh, to add an expression you're going to have to bring up your transform controls and just select one of your transform controls. Now if you go up to animation add expression it's going to give you this little view here and you notice we've already got something typed into this it says transform dot position uh, and we can you know click on here and this gives us a bunch of different expressions that we can add into there and it can get pretty confusing and there's lots of them so do your research to find out all of these uh, I'm just gonna cover the very basic stuff so you can kind of get an understanding and get on your feet. So let's go ahead and type in wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, and then we're going to put in a parentheses following that. And then let's type in the number five, and then we're going to do a comma, and then we're going to type in 10. And then we're going to close it off with another set of parentheses. So now we have our first expression created. How amazing. To close that off, you can just click on the position, and now you've got it. So let's see what wiggle 5, 10 does. If we hit play, oh, look at that. We get some shaking going on, and it moves around a little bit. Now, this isn't too radical uh, shaking movement, but let's go ahead and uh, explain what exactly the wiggle 5, by t uh, comma 10 means. So if we click back into here, uh, we can get into our expression now. Five is the amount of times the footage is going to shake within a second. And then 10 is how many pixels it's going to be shaking by. So it'll go in any direction, 10 pixels, and it'll do that five times in a second. So let's uh, just start playing with these, and we can see the different changes we can make. So if we increase this to maybe... 50 and then let's close that out now we're getting a lot of shaking you know this could be good let's say they're getting chased and it's an actiony scene and we want to show some panic and so they're driving really fast and the road might be bumpy or let's say they weren't in the city they're in a jungle and you want them driving on some treacherous roads you know you could use the wiggle expression to kind of recreate that and you know obviously this is more radical than you would want it I'm just showing you guys an example of how it can be used now you also notice with this wiggle trend uh, with this wiggle expression added we're getting some transparency coming through on the sides to get rid of that we can just increase the scale and that is going to kind of blow it out so that the edges aren't lost but we still get that shake so it's like oh they're driving crazy or you know something like that one of the downsides to using expressions is it's not really keyframable, so you can't start and stop the wiggle. This is going to be wiggling throughout the whole scene. But let's say we only wanted it to start wiggling once it came up out of the sunroof right here. And we wanted it to start wiggling because, oh, now there's turbulence outside of the car or whatever. I don't know. So to do that, we need to add an effect called the slider control. So if we go to our effects and presets, we can search slider, and you notice that it'll pop right up. We get the slider control, so let's just go ahead and drop it right onto our layer there, and we get our slider control over here. Now, from there, we're going to want to parent our position to the slider, but we want to do a little more than that. We need to go into our expression that we've written, and we need to take out the 50. So we'll delete that. And then, over here, we're going to grab the Pick Whip tool. And that's this little squiggly here. 
Okay, and you're gonna slide it right up to the timer, and that's gonna pick whip it to there. And so now, anything that we set this slider control to, it's gonna make that the wiggling, or the amount of uh, pixels that it'll move up and down. So now that it's at zero, we get no wiggle, and then if we increase this, we'll get more wiggle. So, pretty sweet how that works. And we can keyframe this slider control. So let's go ahead and find out when this rises up out of. So right about here is when we want the wiggling to start. So we'll go ahead and go all the way over. And let's maybe get to about here. Set it to zero. Move forward just a little bit. Right about there is when we want it to probably to start to wiggle. So we'll move that up to maybe you know, 45. So now the wiggling will start, you know, right here as it starts raising out of the roof. And oh man, look at how crazy it is once we get outside the sunroof. So cool. So we can play that back. Now you notice when we did the pick whip tool, it brought in all this writing here. You know, the effect parentheses slider control parentheses slider. And that's pretty much just saying that we're connected to here and whatever this says is the value that needs to be put into here. Um, you can also change it. So let's say we want rotation to be on the slider control as well. So let's go ahead and go to animation add expression, and then we can pick whip this to the slider control. And now the rotation has the same effects as the slider control. Yeah, really, really great. Let's go ahead and delete that, get rid of that. And uh, let's actually add a wiggle to the rotation. So I can actually just do Command C if you're on a Mac or Control C if you're on a PC and copy this expression. Then go back on to rotation, go up to animation, add expression, and then do Command V or Control V if you're on a PC to paste the exact same expression. And so now we've got two expressions going on on two different transform values. Let's see how this looks. And then we start getting that rotation. Now that's probably a little too much rotation for us. We probably don't want it to be that extreme. But one of the problems with using that slider control pick whip is we're li we're limited to, you know, what we've set this to. We can't start changing it because it's going to change it for our position, and it's actually good for our position. So what do we do? We do a little bit of very very basic math. So we're going to go ahead and put in a slash, which stands for divide. And then let's go ahead and divide this by 10 and see how it looks now. And so since we've divided it by 10, it's going to reduce the amount on the slider control by and divide it by 10. So it's going to make the rotation way less, but keep our position with the same amount of wiggle, which is what we want. So we can uh, RAM preview that to check it out. And you notice that's working out pretty well for us. So we might even be able to reduce it just a little bit more. Let's maybe say, you know, divide it by five. And that's gonna, you know, give us more rotation. And if we want it less rotation, we would just divide it by a higher number. So maybe 20. And that'll do that. So really cool stuff with expressions. Uh, they can get very intense, and you can do lots of different things with them, and they'll save you lots of time as far as keyframing goes. Um, you know, you can you can do a lot with the expressions, research them, learn them very well, and practice with them. This is just a crash course to get you introduced to them. Play with this wiggle effect a little bit, and uh, go for it. Shoot for the moon and stars, guys. You can do anything you put your mind to. That's, that's a true statement. Um, yeah. Hope this was helpful. Let us know how you're using these tutorials by posting your projects in the comments down there. We'd love to see what you're working on and 
Also, hit that subscribe button to the right so you can stay up to date with all these awesome tutorials we're putting out for you. We love to uh, keep you guys up to date and keep you learning. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up expressions. Have a great day, guys. Later.